I got the book Shombo from the channel's advertisement from the YouTube account. Welcome, Matt Steve Scott. And I've had it for a couple of months. And that's the book. Sombo Encyclopedia. So, no gi legs, and then upper body in the gi. Very interesting combination. Is it right that I shall get the same one? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. So, that's that. Recap, front, back, and side. So that's that book. Um, let me get my pad and let's see what I can do on my paper pad. Now what we'll talk about lorries. Let's talk about lorries. is you would call it lorries you can have rally driving lorries tend to be flat nosed not all the time but or flat faced and then uh, North America they have like a sort of sticky out kind of like that with the diesel sort of tube like that and then the smoke you know and the holes like that you know. um or maybe it's angular like that I don't know but it's got a long sort of a, a nose it's the Scatania, the European and English ones are more like this. With maybe a slight angle there.
It could be quite expensive. Like, thing. So they're very nice inside and you can have like overhead like a camper van. Like a pod. And I even saw a Volvo. There's another European one for you. Very good quality. Um, so, um, you can have an overhead, like a lorry camper van combo or something you can even I saw a Volvo with a shower unit in like a, a bathroom unit um yeah and uh, you can have like a stove hob like a hob stove like a So you can have a like a cooking unit, a bathroom unit, and um, sleeping pod. So you've got bathroom, bedroom, kitchen, and a compact area. So sort of yeah, camper van style lorry. Um, So you can have the and the um, you can have the And they have the um like the air intake on the front and um yeah they have like storage boxes at the side, large storage unit, and um, yep, so that's lorries. Lorries, and you can have like a 
sort of a trailer welded to it, like a camper van, like a, a motorhome camper van, like a large type. Or you can just have it the short style by itself. Like um like this. Like that kind of thing. And they've got like electric works in the back and the door there with the steps and the window. And the handle. And um, the grill. The grill, door, high steps, wheels, electric works in the back, motor works, and the flat. Flat face or flat nose, however you want to say. Flat nose or flat face. So, it's the European or the English style one, and then the North American one is obviously much larger because there's much more space over there. And uh, um, yeah. Um, So this is lorries. Um, and the short shape looks very fascinating. And as a kid I didn't know if didn't know they could be detached. I thought the tra trailer in the front was all one unit. So when I saw it detached short by itself, it looks kind of dwarf like, like a dwarf cab, like a dwarf vehicle. Um, like a small, how, how would I say, um, like a mini vehicle, I don't know, it's very hard to explain, but it looks, yes, it looked very strange at first sight, but I like them. Um, and then there's different colours as well, yellow is a good one. Just the North American and English spellings of this word here. North American and English. But um, the yellow colour looks quite good. And the logos on the rally ones look quite good. Um, yeah. Mm. Oh, CD players you can have because I'm kind of old-fashioned, so you can have in the front cab, just like a van or a car, you can have like a CD, like a JCB one, or JVC, it might be JVC, like in Halfords, you can have a CD player unit, uh, like a radio unit. In the front cab, uh, the driving area. So, yeah. Um, I think you can have like four to, f I think it's four to five seats. Like, Widthways, just like a coach. We'll do another video on double decker coaches and simulators. You can have games like 
you could have Laurie. Make a uh, and and coach simulators uh, You can have simulator games on PC and on console. Um, again, for for working version and for rally version, like everyday working style and racing style as well as that. So. Yeah. Um, the channel. That's a channel all about lorries. Um, so that about wraps it up, I think. Um, just one last quick note. The generalist. What is it? ADHD generalist versus the neurotypical specialist. Um, I don't really like the word generalist. I think it's a bit... Uh, I don't want to use the word offensive because it's a very liberal word, but it's a bit, um, it's like trying to, it's a bit of a slur word. It's like designed to, to, you know, make people sound bad or dumb people down. So I think the better word is polymath, like Da Vinci was, and like Telhoffer may have been in WMA, he and Telhoff, and also Da Vinci. Um, so a nicer word for it. A bit like, you know, they call people that best word that got with a lot of people, which is nice, and I prefer the word from the ancient Greek. It's a nicer word than that. And also, instead of say that, that's the bad, and that's the better, say nice. Nice uh, word. So the other one is, uh, yeah, instead of saying generalist again, which is a try. It's a, and it's an attacking word, I think. It's to try and disparage. The good word is polymath. So it's it's better word I think. Than um, than that. It's not really very nice. Um, and same here. It, it's a, it's, it's a like a pseudo swear word. It's designed. It's an attacking word. It's not, you know, better to say that. I think. But do what you want. Do whatever language you want. I'm just. These are just my ramblings up to your own decision. Just my personal thoughts on the situation there. Um, 
for the words. So, yeah, okay, over 